In part one of this two-part series, we'll take you through some of the most useful features available for Streamlabs CloudBot. We'll walk you through how to use them and show you the benefits. Today, we are kicking it off with a tutorial for commands and variables. Why are they useful? Custom commands help you provide useful information to your community without having to constantly repeat yourself so you can focus on engaging with your audience. Here's how to create a custom command. To get started, head to your Streamlabs dashboard, navigate to the CloudBot page, and select Commands. First, make sure CloudBot is enabled by clicking this switch. Once you've done that, it's time to create your first command. Do this by clicking the Add Command button. This will open up the following modal. Let's go over some of the basics. To get started, check out the template dropdown. The template comes with a number of commonly used commands, such as uptime, blind, followage, and many more. Once you've picked a command, you will probably start seeing variables such as uptime, channel name, to username, or something similar. Variables. Variables are pieces of text that get replaced with data coming from chat or from the streaming service that you're using. Followage. Followage is a commonly used command to display the amount of time someone has followed a channel for. To username will get replaced by either the user's own name or a different user's name, depending on how the command is used. Channel name will get replaced by the name of the channel. To user followage will get replaced with the amount of time that the user has been following the channel for. The followage command can be used in the following two ways. One, followage will display the amount of time the user has been following the channel. Two, followage username will display how long another user has been following the channel. You can find the full variables list by selecting the variables tab in the same command window. What is reply in? The reply in setting allows you to change the way the bot responds. The two options are chat or whisper. If a command is set to chat, the bot will reply directly in chat where everyone can see the response. If it is set to whisper, the bot will instead direct messages to the specified user only. The Whisper option is only available for Twitch and Mixer at this time. What are permissions? Permissions are a way for you to control who can use the command. The common options are regulars, subscribers, moderators, and streamer. If all these are checked, then anyone can use the command. If you want to create a command that can only be used by subscribers, then you are able to do so as well. We will be releasing a video on more advanced options soon, so make sure you're subscribed and have notifications enabled. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.